Hey, I'm Kev Kev, Mr. Come, welcome back to V Rally 4. Has have we had some good fun last time out on the rallies in Kenya, Malaysia, and Japan. And at the end we also called our crew. Got rid of all of them. To upgrade them to now level three and four staff mostly. So we no longer have noobs running our garages. So hopefully we can do well. As so there's a driving test in Canada to do. Does the driving test actually give you anything? So this just seems to be a good old rollicking around. So it being actually anything meaningful. But well, we can try out our Ford, Ford Escort. We can try and see how good it is against trees, you know. Test out the important stuff, see how good it is in reverse, because I'm bound to do this a bit more of this cut. I also got to remember to map the clutch, as I totally forgot to do that. Oh, I couldn't actually do it, it was set to automatic, but I did that before the first proper race in the rally course, so we'll see if that changes, but... So yeah, this is pretty cool, and then we go on to the tarmac. Got our old airstrip, of course there's an airstrip. Well, can we go into that gap? Nailed it. So we can now practice kind of the extreme car on us stuff. Some of the buggy stuff as well. Oh, we go. Let's try and go round this plane. Let's end this little warm-up session. We're drifting round the plane. Wasn't quite as epic. I think it could have been, but this is pretty cool. Oh, we got another plane in drift out. So this is Canada. This is a test centre where you can just try things out. Oh no, that's not a good job. We're all good. So we've returned from Canada upside down, and let's head to a rally, shall we? So we can go to Japan again, Kenya, or Malaysia. Malaysia costs nothing, so I think we're going to go there, and we're going to try and improve on what we did last time around this gravel stage. 3,000 meters, clear sky, 100% gravel, and our difficulty's at 90. I think we're just going to keep it there for the time being, seems to be a good level. Especially on the tarmac, we'll see on the gravel. Well, not on the tarmac, but we'll see on the gravel. It's a good level.
right four tightens. Into left four short opens, don't cut into right four. And kinks over crest 150. Break right three. Into left 330. And right three over 50. Jump over crest 50. Left four and right four short 30. Caution right four over crest. Into left four. Right six short, and right four short opens into kinks 100. Left four. Right 350. Break right three, into left three. And right six short. Left four and right three open short. And left five. Jump maybe over crest 50, right four. And left four short into right three. And left four. And right three into left three. And right five thirty. And finish. Gandhi at the end and we stole it! Yes! Not a ratty stage win stolen at the end. Thought I lost it after messing up in that middle section again and we messed up at the beginning again as well. Not as severe as last time, but pulled through in the end by a second ahead of Bogdanov and then Sophia White in third with someone not finishing. So we get lots of prizes then. I got almost 15,000. That might be enough for a new buggy. As by winning events, you increase your chance of participating in a championship. The same category. Okay. So there's a Monument Rally Valley. Rally. Monument Valley Rally. Valley. Is, it, is there a V? Monument. Monument Valley V Rally. I think that's how you say it, right? As instead, we're actually going to Serbia and Russia. We're going to go in the snow with our vehicle. But should we do this and then we buy the buggy and then we go to Moment Valley to any episode? I think that sounds like a good idea. And 
right four, caution, keep left for 100, and right 450. Hairpin left into hairpin right 30. Keep left over jump. And left six over jump 30. Break hairpin left. into bump, and caution left 6, bumpy 50, and left 5 short into jump, and right 5, 50, keep left over jump, 100, finished. Oh, I screwed it up there near the end, but instead we just pulled away. So Snow's definitely 100%. That's the one thing you can say. It definitely does need the hardest difficulty as we won by 10 seconds despite a couple hiccups there. As we beat Judy Illett and Alfred Boyer. Does that sound terrible at pronouncing names yet? And we've got nice rewards there. Look at that. 12,000 bet any repair costs despite going sideways a couple times in the air. So we're looking pretty damn good then. Money wise, of course, we've got to pay people soon, unfortunately. So we do have actually a rally in America. So is that buggy event no longer available? God damn it. So shall we end with the rally then? We've run lots of rallying to begin with, but let's try and earn some more money for payday. Left in the 
right five and left five in the right three, 100. Crest in the left five and right three. And left six in the right five in the bridge. And break square right opens over tarmac. And left five tightens, don't cut. And right five in the left four. Into right three, 100. Chicane right 30. Finished. Well, that's the easiest stage so far, has he beat Ling Chung, Hung, and then Bernice Dickens head of Sophia White as Quinton Anderson did not finish, so pretty good visit to America for the first time. Definitely love that stage, he went with a mostly tarmac setup as well, so I'm surprised how well the car handled on that gravel, but destroyed the opposition and you've got some nice prize money earned. As we come to payday, doesn't matter about the salary. Got enough in our bank now. As I think we do have to think about buying new cars though. As there's now the Monument Valley Rally. Or V Rally. Valley V Rally. Let's not get down that road again. Anyway, we've got recruitment. As there's a level 7 car seller. There's a mechanic in Italy. There's an engineer in. Senegal, is that? No, it's Cameroon, isn't it? There's a head engineer in Australia or a head mechanic in Israel. So let's look at the engineer because his salary is quite small. He's level six. So do we want to replace Sophie Jones or do we just want to add to our ensemble here? I think we just want to add, don't we? Let's recruit. And he had lots, engine, radiator, exhaust, brake, suspension, electronics. We still don't have any development on the tires and bodywork though. So that's one addition. So now we've got to look at, should we look at the Italian mechanic? Again, he's quite cheap. And now we're kind of fit out our mechanics then. And he had chassis, gearbox, exhaust, suspension, electronics and bodywork. Let's add him. Or Jack Lynn. Could be a man or a woman, actually. And then the head mechanic. So he's just a bit better than our current mecha head mechanic, it looks like. We take a bit of a hit on suspension and brakes, but we gain a special on chassis. And nowhere else, really. So is it worth losing out on brakes and suspension just so we gain on a chassis? Majorly. Not sure it is actually. Should we stick with our Brit head mechanic? And now we go to Australia for our head engineer. Now they had bodywork and tyres. I think it's worth switching it up. Not much more salary either. Finally, we've got the car seller. This agent decreases the price of extreme corner cars. Not sure that's better than a wholesaler, to be fair. Because car part art grade, you've got a couple to put on the Ford now. I think we just stick with our current car agent or sales agent or agent, should I say. So now we've got to look at some cars. So should we actually see what's happening in the next week? So we've got rallies, got rallies, got rallies, we've just got rallies. So sure we go for, I think I was going to try and get a buggy, but a rally cross car, does that cost a lot? 46,000. Buggy is 46,000. Hill climb car is, you'll never guess the price. Same with the extreme carna car. So it's just about what we want to do. Do we want to do extreme carna? We could try it out next time. And then we can actually hire that agent after we've upgraded the car and then do an extreme car event next time. And then you can just laugh at me. That sounds good, doesn't it? 
There's a new vehicle's been unlocked. Mr. Richie's answer Evo 10. I like that. So let's upgrade our car. Go to the info board. Missed loads of contracts. Of course I did. So we've got a contract where we need to jump a total to sort of 300 meters in a rally activity. Competed four V rally mode activities. And then we get our financial report as well. I'm surprised with the outgoings for the repairs. I thought that'd be much bigger. But let's accept these contract offers then. And accept the other one, can we? Yes, we can. So we've got two contracts on the go. Now, so we can have up to four, is that correct? So we've got crew manager. We filled up our mechanic crew. Got a good research crew. Let's upgrade our Ford. So we can upgrade everything, it looks like. The brakes, the suspension, the gearbox, the chassis, and the engine. The engine's not too bad, but it helps on acceleration. We've got the chassis. Let's improve that. So that's already at max level. And gearbox, brakes. Oh my God, do we need brakes on this thing? Should we just upgrade everything? Because we're going to win this back in prize money, aren't we? Next time. So we might as well. So we go. So tyres, bodywork, and exhaust need to be upgraded. I thought it's looking pretty good now. As you can see, we've got multiple upgrades on the Jim Carner car. Extreme Carner car, should I say. Apart from tyres, electronics, and bodywork. And I think that is everything. So now should we go back to recruitment? Get this car seller. Hire them. I just realised it's meant to be for the cars, not activities. But now, next time we can go to the Air Force Base and do an extreme car event. But I hope you enjoyed some more rallying in our Ford Escort. Definitely I'm going to love the Ford Escort. Again, the brakes, a bit dodgy, as you perhaps would expect. But the hand is very similar to WRC. If you played the WRC games from Killer Don, I think you'd feel at home with that, the hand in. If you haven't, it's going to take some time to get used to it. But yeah, definitely feel at home with VA4 so far. But we're going to try something a bit different next time out. So you better tune in and see me make a fool of myself. So thank you for watching, and I'll see you then.